Jesus walks on water. So, uh, okay na ba yung background ko si Siyan? Okay na po. Okay na. Okay, praise God. So, ipagpatuloy ko na to. <laughs> okay, uh, shall we all rise as we give reverence upon the reading of our text this morning? Our text is found in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verses 45 and 42 to 52. <laughs> Praise God. Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had taken leave of them, he went up on the mountain to pray. And when evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and he was alone on the land. And he saw that they were making headway painfully, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they will saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the lubes, for their hearts were hardened. This is the holy word of God. Let us come to God in prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength, our Redeemer. Amen. You may now take your seats. Praise God. Are you blessed today? Uh, sino na ba ang nakakita sa inyo dito ng multo? <laughs> May nakakita na ba sa inyo ng multo? <laughs> Iyong hanggang ngayon... Okay, no? Iyong hanggang ngayon, minumulto pa rin sa matagal nang namatay nilang relasyon. <laughs> okay, praise God. <laughs> Amen. So the, this miracle, Jesus walk, walks on water, is very familiar. And not only theologians and devout uh, Christians knows about this story. It's all familiar with, uh, almost everyone knows about this miracle, about this story. Walang hindi siguro nakaalam sa bagay na ito or sa pangyayari na ito. Okay, amen? Everyone knows about this uh, act of Jesus. Now, sometimes the very problem is we tend to focus on the act itself and not Jesus himself. When we read the Bible, we see what Jesus did and we see that what Jesus is doing is something amazing. You have to ask yourself, why Jesus did or why is it or why Jesus did it. So, uh, Jesus had a purpose in doing these things. And not only that act or something that we are amazed because of his act, but we can ask ourselves why Jesus did it. Why he walked on water. And that is the very thing that we need to know this very morning. Why Jesus walked on water. And what, is he, what are, what were his intentions. Now, next uh, slide. Jesus had a purpose for everything he did, including miracles. They are called signs for us to know, or because they are pointing out us to the truth, this miracle. And why is it Jesus doing these things? Now, there are two purposes to why Jesus walked on water. Only two, because I was advised to certain this message, so I have prepared only 20 minutes message. 20 minutes and two hours. Okay, there are two. Salamat at tumatawa naman kayo. To reveal His divinity and to bring His divinity near to us. Amen? Jesus walks on water to reveal His divinity and to bring His divinity near to us. First thing, the first purpose was to show us 
his divinity. Diyan lang muna. He wanted to show his disciples that he is God. That he was God. He want to show us his deity. Uh, you know the word deity? His divinity, his divine, his being God. That Jesus is God. Now, this was the truth that the apostles or the disciples didn't understand. Okay? I, I am forced to speak English today because we have friends here. Okay, just to give justice our friend. So, antindihin niya na lang yung wrong grammar ko minsan. The disciples, uh, we go to, to the text. The disciples were out in the middle of the lake. You know, in, on a normal day, uh, going to Bethsaida, to cross to Bethsaida, it will take only four hours to row. Only four hours. But it was fourth watch of the night, which means between 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. What it means? So the disciples uh, have set outright after dinner. Most likely, they have been rowing all night for almost eight hours. Why? Because of the wind. Because of the storm. The disciples had set out. Now, the storm, actually, my friend, the storm they are painfully trying to make headway is a picture of the storm that was going on in their hearts. And minds. When you remember our text, so verse 52 tells us that they, that they couldn't understand about the lubes. Last message, last Friday, yung message natin, hindi nila naintindihan bakit ginawa yun ni Jesus Christ. They, uh, they still uh, didn't understand about the lubes and their hearts were hardened. Hindi pa sila masyadong naniniwala. Wala pa sa kanila yung faith na Dapat nakikita na nila yon, they saw it and they experienced it in actual, but still they didn't, they didn't understand. What happened? What is their attitude? They understand that Jesus, they understood that Jesus miraculously, what? Broke the, the loops or the bread and to make the hungry people satisfied. But they didn't understand that Jesus Christ himself is the bread. They understood that Jesus has power, but they didn't understand that Jesus Christ himself is power. They understood that Jesus was from God, but they didn't understand that Jesus himself is God. So they found themselves in danger. This very time, uh, they found themselves in danger. So the external danger of the storm is just a picture of their inner internal danger of not really knowing Jesus. Tatanungin ko kayo, kilala nyo ba talaga si Jesus? Sino ba dito talaga ang nakakilala talaga ni Jesus? They found themselves in danger. Their physical struggling and painful attempt to make headway through that storm was a picture of their spiritual struggle and trying to understand who Jesus really are. Now, this is common danger we face today. Why? The disciples were always around Jesus. Araw-araw, oras-oras, kasama nila si Jesus. At anong nangyari? His teachings, His kingdom work, His miracles, His everything. However, they were still missing who Jesus was. Ito yung medyo danger sometimes na hinaharap natin. There is always way to be around Jesus without ever really knowing Him. And now, kung tatanungin kayo, ano ba talaga ang purpose natin ngayon today? To, to know, to serve Jesus, to come to Jesus of what He did, or to come to Him because of who He, he is. And that is our message today. Now, next slide. First is revealing His divinity. How God, how Jesus revealed His divinity. Now, but then in the midst of the disciples, not understanding their hearts being hardened, Jesus walked on water. 
We too need Jesus to walk on water. Kailangan natin na si Jesus maglakad sa tubig. Sabi dito sa Mark, chapter 4, uh, next slide. Uh, chapter 4, verse 48, uh, 6, verse 48. Sabi dito, And he saw that they were making headway painfully, for the wind was against them, and about the fourth watch of the, very, of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea, and he meant to pass by them. So mga disciples dito, they were drained and they were so afraid and they were spiritually drained for having no categories of what, for understanding who this person Jesus really was to their lives. So Jesus came walking on the water and meant to pass by them. We must ask the question, why did Jesus walk on water? And we know he had a purpose behind everything he wanted. Next slide. Sabi dito, Jesus want to show them His divinity. My friend, when we are in struggles, when we are in problems, confusions, doubt, disbelief, Jesus will walk on water just to come to us. To show us His divinity of He who Jesus really is in our lives. He wants to show us that He is God, that He is our everything, that He is our enough. And, and that problem is nothing compares to our great God. Now, we must ask, ano ba talaga ang dahilan bakit naglakad si Jesus sa tubig? We know He had a purpose behind everything He did. He wanted to show us that He is God in the fullness of His glory. Amen? Amen? Now, next slide. He said He would proclaim His name before Him. His name is the Lord, which literally means Yahweh, which means I am. What did Jesus say to the disciples after He had passed by them in all His glory? Next slide. Sabi niya, Take heart, it is I. Alam niyo, Kung siguro kasama ninyo kung andon kayo sa boat with the disciples, siguro isa din kayo sa natatakot. Alam niyo grabe yung storm. Eight hours kayo nag-grow, nag-bugsay. Ano kayong bugsay sa Tagalog? Uh, sagwan. Eight hours kayo nagsagwan. Supposedly, four hours lang kayo nagsagwan. Pero dahil sa storm, eight hours. But still, you, are, you, found, you find yourself in the middle of the lake. And then there, is, there was a storm. Grabe yung hangin. And then, Sa kaba mo, nakakita ka pa ng multo. Ano ba talaga ang dapat mong mararamdaman? ba? Parang kung i-picture mo yung self mo kasama sa mga disciples, parang nakakatakot, no? Nakakita ka pa ng multo. Pero ano ang sabi ni Kristo Isos? Take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. Sabi niya. He said, it is, it is I. The Greek meaning is, I am. This is the word used by God in the Old Testament when He talked with Moses. Kung magtanong sila kung sino ikaw, ano ang sasabihin ko, anong sabi ng Panginoon? Tell him, tell them, I am that I am, which means Yahweh. I am God. And Jesus Christ Himself said, said that I am. Ang ibig sabihin that He is divine. He is God. He is not just only a ghost. Or a person. Yes, he is 100% man. But he is also 100% God. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na 50-50. 50% man, 50% God. No, he is 100% man. Bakit? Dahil nagugutom siya, nauuhaw siya, napapagod siya, at may buto, may laman, may dugo. Ibig sabihin, he is human. He is the son of God as what Luke described to him. But he is also the Son of God, that He is God, that He is a 100% God. And that's what He wanted to show His disciples. Do not be afraid. I am God and I am willing to cross that barrier, that water, just to be with you and for you to experience my divinity. Now, next slide. Pangalawa, at dito na tayo magtatapos. Not only to show his divinity to us, but to bring His divinity to us. To bring His deity 
ang kanyang pagkajos sa atin. Jesus revealed His divinity to the divinity to the disciples when they were unbelieving and their hearts were hardened. This is the good news for us. Bakit? Kasi akala natin magpalap, mag, uh, mag, lalapit lang ang Panginoon sa atin pag if we have that full faith and we are doing that uh, good work and everything that we are faithful. But this verse said that we and uh, that when even you are in doubt, you are in disbelief. You are in struggles, confusions. God walked on water just to come to us and for us to experience His deity. Jesus, sometimes we think only if we're having time with the Word every day, sharing the gospel with others and not sinning, Jesus will cross any barrier to meet us. Alam niyo kapatid, kung magkasala kayo, Kung andyan kayo sa doubts, struggles, andyan kayo sa mga confusions na parang ang hirap maniwala sa Panginoon na andito kayo sa napakalaking problema, God will cross that barrier just to come to you. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, Lord, uh, ang hirap magiging pastor. Lalo na ngayon, I have to quit my job. I have to uh, lose everything. Walang, uh, sabi ko na nga, wala kaming mapagkukunan. Uh, iiwan ko yung trabaho ko, yung sahod ko, just for you. Sabi ko, Lord, ano ba ang kakainin namin? Ano ba ang, ano ba ang mangyayari sa amin? Ano ba ang dapat kong gawin na uh, saan na kami, saan na kami kukuha ng mga bagay-bagay? Darat, dumating sa time ko na after I decide, I decided to plant a church for Hope City, dumating sa time na natatakot ako. Bakit? Kasi walang kasiguruhan doon. Pero sabi dito ni Jesus, sabi ni Jesus Christ, Anak, I will walk on water just to come to you and to be with you and for you to experience my divinity, my provision, my everything. At wala ka nang hahanapin pang iba. Not just when we are living in obedience, but also when in the darkest times and struggles, God will cross that barrier just to come to us. The reality is that the disciples, alam ninyo, yung mga disciples before this story, nag-struggle din sila sa storm. They experienced storm in the middle of the lake. Pero during that time, kasama nila si Jesus. Natutulog na lang. Pero alam nila na kasama nila si Jesus. They know that uh, Jesus is with them. So, medyo uh, natatakot sila pero hindi masyado. Uh, ginising nila si Jesus at nakita ni Jesus yung storm at Jesus come the storm and they were astounded. And now, another storm pero hindi na nila kasama si Jesus. Kaya natatakot sila. Grabe yung takot nila. However, other times we fear that God is sometimes we fear because sometimes maybe God is absent. But, next slide. The reality is that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen? Nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. He will walk on water to come to you. The thing, uh, that experience that we have experienced, sa mga problema na nangyari sa mga buhay natin, He will walk on water just to come to us. Another thing is, Jesus revealed His divinity by coming near to them. He walked on water, proclaimed His name that I am, and He got into the boat with them. Now, Next slide. No matter how hard life gets or what you're slug, struggling with, Jesus walked on water for you and He has crossed that impossible barrier, separates you from Him. And He is perfect. He is the perfect high priest who can empathize with you in all of your weaknesses. Alam ninyo, in the Old Testament, ang high priest lang ang makakalapit sa Panginoon. Pag ako nagkasala, if uh, I sinned against God, 
I have to offer something. Kailangan may patayin. Kasi ang, ang bayad talaga sa kasalanan in the Old Testament is kamatayan. Pero kailangan kang mag-offer ng isang animal para hindi ka papatayin. Bago i-offer yung animal, ano ang ginagawa noon? Kailangan mong iganyan yung kamay mo sa, sa lamb. Iganyan mo yung kamay mo kasi pag ganyan mo, yung kasalanan mo lilipat doon sa animal. At yung animal na yung makasalanan. At kailangan siyang patayin. Yes, uh, although parang nakakaano siya, pero yan yung, yan yung ginagawa noon. Kaya, there is no remission, because there is no remission of sin without shedding of blood. That is in the Old Testament. There is no forgiveness. So, kailangan may dugong aagas. Kailangan may papatayin. So, anong ginawa nila? Dapat iuntay nila yung kamay nila sa hayop at yung hayop na yung makasalanan. So dahil makasalanan na yung hayop, kailangan siyang patayin doon sa altar. At sino lang yung makaka-ask ng forgiveness sa iyo? The high priest. Hindi ka pwedeng dumiritso sa Diyos. Kailangan kang dadaan doon sa high priest. But Christ died on the cross to save us and died for our sins once and for all. And now He is the high priest, the perfect high priest, who can empathize with you in all your weaknesses. Alam ng Panginoon, sino ba ditong walang kasalanan? Lahat naman tayo siguro may mga kasalanan. Kasi pag wala kang kasalanan, perfect ka na kaibigan, sana, siguro wala ka na dito sa lupa. Kung habang andito pa tayo sa lupa, nagkakasala tayo at magkakasala tayo. Now, what happens to a person when Jesus reveals himself in that way? Jesus, John chapter 6 tells us, when Jesus and his disciples finally make into the shore, the people have just been fed and walk across the lake. Ano ang ginawa sa mga, ng mga tao? Pagkatapos nilang kumain, pagkatapos nilang nabusog, iniwan na nila si Jesus. Next slide. Not only that, not only that, that Christ want us to experience His divinity, His goodness, and His deity, He has stepped into the boat with you. Amen? Hindi lang nalalapit si Kristo Iso sa atin during the times of troubles and circumstances, but He stepped on the boat with us. At alam natin that now, uh, the time of church dispensation, God is in us. And dito na si Jesus, through the Holy Spirit sa atin. That is the sealing of the Holy Spirit. Noon, pwede pang, pwede pang lalayo ang Espiritu sa iyo pag magkasala ka. Ngayon, hindi na. Kasi ga, uh, the Holy Spirit sealed. Uh, nasiliwhan na tayo sa banal na Espiritu dito sa buhay natin. Pag magkasala, mag, magkasala tayo, the Holy Spirit hindi na siya mag-flee away. Uh, mag, uh, did not flee, but to grieve the Holy Spirit. Now, next slide. Sabi dito, Jesus said, um, umalis na yung mga tao. Kasi sabi niya, medyo masakit-sakit yung sabi ni Christo Jesus, they did not come to see me as who I am, but they came just for the sake of bread and miracles, healing for their lives. They did not come because of who I am, but they come of what I did. We come to this very place, my friend, not to see of what He did, but of who He is. And dito tayo dahil alam natin, that Jesus Christ is God and we are now worshiping Him and praising Him. Sabi ng ni Christo Jesus, Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered, and I want you also to answer like what Peter answered to Jesus Christ. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we have believed that have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. And this is the very, parang alam mo, this de declaration 
ni Peter na alam niya na kasama na ang Diyos. Jesus met with his disciples on the stormy lake in such a way that caused those once hard-headed or heart, uh, heart is hard or heart of heart to be able to say, Jesus, where else are we going to go? Can we say that to ourselves today? Pagtatanungin tayo ni Kristo Jesus at sabihin, will you go away also? Can we respond this uh, declaration that Jesus, where else are we going to go? It caused them who were once unbelieving to be able to believe. Lastly, if you are in Christ, He will not let you go. Kahit anong kasalanan mo, kapatid, kahit anong klase ka pang tao, pag naniniwala ka kay Kristo Jesus, He will not let you go. But He will come to you. He will come to you and He want you to experience His divinity because our security is not dependent on our ability to never doubt or struggle. But His ability to walk on water and to come to us over and over again. That is why Hindi na ako natatakot kahit ano pang mangyayari sa akin. Hope City will be sown, rise in the Philippines. Kahit anong mangyayari. Why? Because God is with us. And He wants us to experience His divine power. And not only that, He wants to go with us. He stepped on the boat with us. Ano pa ang mag, ano pa ang katatakutan natin? Ano pa ang pwedeng i-doubt natin? God is with us and always will be. God is with you, uh, Pastor Ferdy. God is with you, every one of us here. Whatever your problem is right now, God will cross that barrier and walk on water just to come to you and solve that problem. Whatever your doubts and confusion right now, God will cross that barrier and walk on water just to heal that thing. Amen? God is always with us. Let us all stand and come to God in prayer. Thank you so much, Lord, for today. For your reminder, O oh God, of your words that you want us to experience your being God. You want us to experience, O oh God, your divinity, your healing power, your provision, your everything, O oh God. And make us know, O oh God, that you are our enough, that you are our everything. Lord, I pray for these people, whatever they are struggling right now, whatever they are experiencing right, experience right now, O oh God, maybe they have problems, financially, health, O oh God, family problems, relations, whatever it is, O oh God, we know that you are willing to cross that barrier. You are willing to walk on water just to come to us and tell us that do not be afraid. It is I. Thank you so much for that promise, O oh God, that you will never, never leave us nor forsake us. For experiencing us daily, O oh God, your presence through the Holy Spirit that is in us, sealed in our lives, that we know that we are Christ, that we are Christians, that we are yours, O oh God, and always be with us forever and ever. Bless these people, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Give me now.